Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. On this video, I'll show you how to manufacture the cash shampoo gel. It's a formulation that I'm going to give up. This is a formulation that people have been asking all along. Okay, we decided to make it available. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, make sure that you subscribe. Smash that like button for me. Also consider dropping us a comment below. So how is this video going to be structured? As I said, I'm going to give you out the formulation on how to manufacture the cash shampoo gel. Okay? We're first going to state the ingredients. Then from there, I'll give you out a description and the function of each and every ingredient. Then from there, I'll tell you about the sequence and the ratios of each ingredient. So make sure that you remain tuned till the end so that you can learn this. Also, they are very important and necessary details that will be explaining all around the video. So let's start by stating ingredients. What are the ingredients that you need to manufacture the cash shampoo gel? The ingredients are, we do have water, slurs, the slurs that we use in massage is strength of 25%. We do have cocoa betaine, silicone oil, formalin, perfume, the dye, and then salt. These are the ingredients that you need to manufacture the cash shampoo gel. Okay? Before going to the ratio, I'll first give you out the function of each and every ingredient into the mixture. Here we go. The first ingredient is water. Okay? What is the function of water into this mixture? It's used to bind ingredients. It's a solvent. The next ingredient is less. You need to know that slurry stands for sodium lauryl ether sulfate. It's an anionic detergent and suffocant responsible of foam. The next ingredient is cocoa betaine, okay? Also called kokami dropyl betaine, mostly used as foam booster in shampoos. The next ingredient is silicone oil, okay? Into this mixture, it has a function of smoothing and shining agent. The next ingredient is formalin. It's a preservative. It increases the life shell of a product. Then perfume, it's used to give a nice smell to the product. Okay? You can always decide on the perfume of your choice. Then the next ingredient is the dye. It's used to give a specific color to the product. Then we have salt which is simply sodium chloride. It's a thickening agent. That's it. Now, let us figure out the ratios on manufacturing 100 liters of car shampoo gel. This is done by volume. The first ingredient is water. Water should be 72% of the total volume. Out of the 100 liters that we manufacture, we need to consider 72 liters of water. The slurs that we're using, as we said previously, this must have a strength of 25%, and this needs to be 20% of the total volume, okay? Out of the 100 liters that we manufacture, we need to consider 20 kg of slurs. Then cocoa betaine should be 3% of the total volume. Out of the 100 liters of cash shampoo gel that we manufacture, we need to consider 3 liters of cocoa betaine. Silicone oil should be 1% of the total volume. This should be 1 liter. Formalin should be 1% of the total volume. Out of the 100 liters that we manufacture, you need to consider 1 liter of formalin. There's something particular that I would like to explain here, okay? You need to know that when it comes to formalin, okay, uh, you can always save your formalin in which way you can just consider formalin being 1% of the amount of water into your mixture, okay? This will still work and give a very good life share to your product. But if you don't mind, you can always consider 1% of the total volume, okay? That's it. Now, perfume, perfume should be 1% of the total volume. Out of the 100 liters of your manufacturing, you need to consider one liter of perfume. Then on the dye, as you can see, we say QS, which simply means quantity sufficient. You need to decide on the amount of dye that you'll be putting into your mixture. 
Then the next ingredient, salt. Salt should be 2% of the total volume, okay? Mostly on the amount of salt, you can consider about 1% or 1.5% to 2%, okay? Into this mixture, we consider 2% of the total volume. Out of the 100 liters of cash shampoo gel that we manufacture, we need to consider 2 kg of salt. By doing this, you actually obtain 100 liters Okay, of your car shampoo gel. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. Okay, make sure that you subscribe to the channel as we always say that there is a lot to learn from here. Trust me, make sure that you like our videos, share them, and also suggest the channel to people you know with the influence of learning. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure that you subscribe and see you on the next video.